Hello, so if you're a parent of a student and you want to make sure they get into good quality student accommodation in a city, um, give this video a watch and I'll describe some of the things you can do in order to help them find that accommodation. So firstly, if, they, if you're doing it with them, you can go through all these steps. If they're going into second year <clears throat> and they're doing it sort of by themselves at university, uh, then just keep an eye on these steps and ask them to, you know, send them back to you about WhatsApp and what, whatnot. So the first one is research the agent. Now, this is really important because the agent provides the experience and the house. So they ultimately are the controller of the quality of the house, the rent, the deposit. Um, the landlord has, a, you know, an overall say, but it's the letting agent that's managing it. So if there's any problems, it's going to go to the letting agent first. So research the agent, make sure they are a good agent in the city or in the area. Look at their housing stock. So this will tell you a lot about um, the quality of their accommodation. Now, don't just look at one house, look at two, three, four, five houses on their website. Flick through all the videos and um, have a look at the information they put on there. If they put a lot of information, then um, that's great. You can read it all. If not, sort of question why and it might be worth giving them a call and just talking to them about it and saying, you know, what is this? What is that? You know, if you live far away, ask for a video viewing, you know, just video call them and get them to walk around the house and say, can I have a look in this cupboard? Can I have a look in that cupboard? Uh, can I have a look in here? And get them to show you the whole house. Um, and if they are accredited, always research those accreditations. Um, it sounds such a faffy job and it can be and it is. However, a lot of agents will be accredited by someone, um, however, there might be agents that just put a, a logo at the bottom of their website. It doesn't actually mean they're accredited. So always check that. Always, always, always. Now, so once you've researched your agent, you're happy that they are an agent that supplies good housing. They are fair and their reviews are good. Um, you know, there's not too, they're not all glowing like five star. Absolutely amazing. They're not all one star. Somewhere in the middle. So they're, they're trustworthy reviews. Read the tenancy. Uh, this is the second bit. Understand what the student is, what your son, daughter, uh, child is going to be responsible for. Um, and that's really important because a lot of people might sign uh, group tenancies where if one person drops out, they have to make up the rent. Um, other times are more like now, um, the individ individual tenancies, so ASTs, and uh, they're responsible for their own sort of room and uh, they have a deposit for the house. So give that a read. Points to look at our responsibilities of uh, the student, deposit, cancellation, and then sort of work back from there. Deposits are important because, um, there sh well, there shouldn't be any uh, application fees anymore. They are done and dusted. So what people did in the interim was raise deposits, um, but now they've capped them at roughly around five weeks worth of rent. So anything over, normally it's four weeks, but if there's anything over five weeks worth of rent for a student house, question it, say, isn't this too much? And they must give you, if they give you a valid answer, fair enough. However, make sure it's not too much. And then ask what deposit scheme they are in because every student letting agent and agent needs to be in a deposit scheme and you can research them on that deposit scheme. So take them up on that because they should get a certificate that the money is in that scheme. Again, it's just in case there is a dispute, it's held by a third party and then they are the mediator as such between the letting agent and the student. Um, after that, always go and view it. Um, there is another video where I talk about going and doing viewings. I'm sure you know what to look for on a viewing. Get your head in every cupboard, make sure the quality is good, the cleanliness is good, the oven is clean, the taps work, the sinks work, the toilets work, the bedrooms are clean. Uh, mattresses are clean, uh, the mattress cover, desks are good, um, and the chairs are nice and stable and sturdy. So once you've done that, obviously then ask them what the next processes are. Um, I would always go and go online, have a look, you know, type in their names, have a look around their website and see who are generally in the city um, in order to get the best sort of idea. And uh, as they go around, if your son or daughter, child is doing it alone, get them to uh, try and be on a video call with them or get them to send you pictures um, of the house so you can just check that. You can assess it as it's going on. Obviously, I appreciate if they're doing it alone. They want to, uh, as I was a student, I want to do everything myself. I didn't want to involve my parents. 
Um, however, you just want to make sure they're all right. So just get them to send pictures. Other than that, I think that covers uh, a very small part of it, but hopefully these steps will ensure that um, your child gets into good student accommodation. If you have any questions, you can head to the website, which is student-it.com. Uh, and in the bottom right hand corner, there is a, a box or a chat button that you can use to chat with me directly. It's got WhatsApp and Messenger, and I'll get back to you and answer all your questions.